Hello guys and girls, how are you, my friends? Uh, so, today, let's cook this. Oh, the nice position. I got here, uh, still, the, um, the dio I am doing uh, yesterday. Okay. And I'm going to put this aside. Okay. So just a second. Uh, I got this one, this three, okay, this is from a ski, uh, this is the box of the Azagawa, but it's not, okay, it's all the same thing, okay, this is just uh, started, so uh, there is some things I must correct. Okay. And I got a new one and a used one. Okay, this is the new and uh, this is the use it. So I got here the instructions. Okay. All oh, they want assemble this this door is going to be closed okay machine gun all right wheels okay got everything here okay guys don't expect this to be an uh, awesome video okay so this is just uh, me working on my workbench okay <laughs> so I got this new new one I'm going to need my tools, okay. Uh, so I got this so messy, okay. I got here the, my X knife. Mm, more things I'm going to need. My glue. Okay. This is eight hundred and one depth. Hundred. I'm going to get here a new one. Okay. And scissors. So I got here what I'm going to need. So you see, it's very. Uh, uh, I think it's very easy to build this one. So they want. Hmm? Okay, this one. Okay. So let's cut this guy out. Okay, the first step it's this one. Uh, these sides, okay, for the wheels. And this one I will cut. Yes, better. Yes, nice. Okay. Uh, 
Now we want just to cut this one. Okay, this big one. More. We need the benches. Okay. So this is the six six it's from its side. For this side. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to need okay this one. Okay, this is the doors okay, and this one. So this is for the first step. Okay. Just more light. So this is a vintage model, guys. But it's awesome, uh, and I am building this one for war games. Okay. That side. Now let me trim this job in knife. like this ah. right here just a little seam
this. Okay, now the big one. And careful here. Not to lose details. Okay. I think it's on the top of the rivet. Okay, but this this is a, an oldie. So, it's time to start gluing, okay. And let's see. It's going to be something like this, like this, okay. So, easy. So this plastic is a little more stiff. Okay, now let's go to the other side. So this plastic have a little bend here, here on the front, so just keep a little pressure there, and okay. So this one done, now let's go here, okay, uh, must have the, where is the, that, it's here. So now very carefully move the steering wheel. Okay.
soft a little. Yes, okay, done. And I think you can see, let me try to show you. This is a little pen, guys. Hello Sergio, how are you my friends? I am fine, always fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello and I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, I don't know sign language. Sorry. So this every little band just try and correct this one so the first thing I need is to glue and let me see it's okay like this so here not like that oops it's going to be okay like this so going to be easy so just put like this in this in, in angle uh, as they go uh, it's nice sincerely it's nice for 172 scale it's very good Just trying. <laughs> and the problem on this seat it's because it's a little bent, so not too easy. So let's go and do the same thing on this side. Okay, I just want this to touch there first. Okay. No. Okay, just wait like this. Hello Fox Games. How are you? If you are going to the as a gawa with the 172 scale it's good so now let's put some glue here This German Elf Track Anomark, okay, the 251, and this from Eski. Uh, this is a vintage, um, 
it's made in Italy and I don't see the date of this but this is a vintage okay this is very good for uh, war games and I'm going to try to make oops let me see what I have it Okay. Okay, this one. I got here some photo reference, okay? And the schematic I'm going to do it's this one. Okay? It's not going to be so easy because of you can see this, these lines and on this scale you can see it's very little and I'm going to do with with the airbrush so let's see how it went okay This is not going to be so easy. So let's start gluing. This fellow here. So I am here with a struggle because of the um, curvature. Okay, so I need to put your scissors. Yes, it's it's hard to find. Yes, here in Portugal it's very dif very difficult. You must try on eBay. Okay. Maybe I will have something. Uh, what do you are uh, trying to find? I think lá vem na arrecadação o que é que tenho por lá. Aqueles aviões, né? O escala um setenta e dois. It's a game of patient here now.
Okay. Hop, right. Estamos lá à espera, não te preocupes. <laughs> so I'm going to cut right away this top here. And let me start cutting this one. And I got here the same problem, okay. They put these on top of the rivets, okay, so I must have been very careful here. Hello, Neil. <laughs> so clean. My workbench, it's a total mess. About uh, yesterday video, when I am doing the diorama. It's a complete mess. <laughs> seeing the fit of this okay it's not bad okay don't worry about these holes here on the sides because it's going to be for the fenders and if you want pigments, they are there, on the top. <laughs> and lots more up there. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, this is done. Uh, I'm going to try a different approach on this. Okay, let me put this and see. On the um, half track I made before of the uh, Azagawa, I'm I paint interior sides. Okay. And this one I must make at the same, but I'm just seeing how to put these, okay, these doors, I got here, the doors, these ones, and they have, I need to put this, so I must cut this before, and see how we must go. You see your some figures. I'm going just to put this one, okay, with the on the machine gun, okay. Uh, I'm not going to put this one.
So let's see first the doors. Afternoon, Adam, how are you? Nice to see you here. tentar agarrar aqui uma, espera aí. <risos> Olha, aqui estão elas, vindas lá de cima. Tens aqui estas, estas são da Airfix, ok? Elas são 132. Deixa eu ver se a câmera apanha aqui bem, ok? Estou em pó que elas estão lá em cima. Elas já estão pintadas de preto, tem primário. Eu tenho aqui esta, tenho aqui por exemplo esta também. Isto são moldes das de um 72 ou 76. Ah, mas como isto é um 32, ah, são muito boas para tu praticares. Ok? E uma caixa destas custa à volta de 10 euros ah, e traz 16 figuras. Ou é uma. Isto, traz 14 figuras. Ok? em diferentes posições, portanto isto é excelente, eu estou a ver, ponho isto na, nas caixinhas dos iogurtes, aqui, é, tenho maneira de pegar e para pintar, estas são impecáveis para treinar, ok? Até <risos> <laughs> yes, I understand that. And yes, I am doing um, this is three uh, off tracks to make a battalion. Okay, just this is for a customer. Okay. Quando for lá a loja, Sérgio está lá muita coisa, depois posso te mostrar. Tá bem? Okay. I'm sorry about some Portuguese guys, but I'm just okay. So now at this time, I really I'm going to put this. No, I'm not good. I'm going to paint in here with a brush. Okay. The other model I make from Azagawa don't have this problem of the doors, okay? So to, to mount the doors I need to have these two pieces glued. So let's go glue this one. Yeah, I just need this to enter and start the gluing process. Okay, now very careful. Just 
Let me start. Put this on place. This is more a little more difficult to glue it. This plastic it's different. So pressing and careful not to leave any fingerprints. <laughs> no, I got <laughs> lots of Scottish friends and I, I know what they were, they were telling. No problem, mate. <laughs> And believe sometimes my problem it's not with the Scotch. Sometimes it's more with English. Uh, we got here uh, in Portugal too, so different ways of of talking. And, and on this youth, it's mm, much different. So sometimes I think I am listening some alien talking here in Portugal. Even my sons, they speak sometimes so different. I don't, I don't understand nothing. <laughs> Oops, yeah, careful. Too much glue here. Yeah. So this time it's very important not to put any, but any. Marks. Let's go this little by little. Okay, then now the door it's going to be much easier. Okay, and I just want to see. Trying to make this a dry fit. Okay. Maybe I'll going to glue this together okay like this and then I will put so much glue cool. 
So I just need here something to this to grab. Let me see if I can like what this. Oops. Yes, I can. Hmm. It's not easy, guys. Okay, these doors are made to be open, okay, and not close. So it's a struggle, here you go. Just these two, the two stick together and I don't want any gaps on this okay if I this air gaps So this is not so good guys. Okay, so So these doors are very, very bad, guys. If I move for one side, I put the other side, and this is not going to help put your filler on this putty because you are going to lose the rivets okay so because this door are going to put open i'm not going to put 
anything more on this okay so this is all done the doors okay this on the top uh, let me grab uh, this one okay and cut that must be better with this some flesh Oops. easy remove okay let me just turn one thing See how this is going to fit. Okay. Pressure, be careful not to make harm of this. Okay. let this dry and then I uh, will go or better okay let's grab this this hmm. 
here I need some more work okay oh, much better So put more. Okay, now you put your some glue. Okay, straight line, it's good. Uh, not so much uh, at the moment. I'm not working so much on the studio uh, because I'm going to, to move. I'm going to make a new studio. Okay, it's uh, it's a little bit more um, near of my house, and we are doing two on the Obikit uh, studio. Okay, so when I have news, I will show you guys. Okay. Now we got here so little tiny pieces, okay. Suspensions, the swing harm, okay, here. Okay, so that it's for the wheels. Let's hope these wheels are better, okay, than the, the other, okay, because the other broke so easily. Okay. Let me just drink water. Okay. No, better. So look at these ones. Here to put this is going to be on the fenders, okay. Nice, but first let's go to the wheels, okay. And I got here different wheels. It's here. So let me see the arms with the Y's. Okay, and the U is just on the point there. Okay, so let's start cutting these wheels. I think it's not going to be so easy. Okay, because I got here this part, so let me. Oh, I can work not just make like this. Uh, yeah. Like this, it's much better to cut the wheels. What I am trying is to make 
Clean goods, okay. This is, they are so different. And with this motion, I, it's like sawing, okay? And I make an uh, angle, okay? So like this, normally, I don't need to send this one snaps out so it needs some sanding Yes, my friend. I got beer now. <laughs> the age don't um, don't leave us alone. It helps to show us we are old, <laughs> and I am leaving this beer to grow. Okay. <laughs> So that ones I cut all. Now I'm going to cut this all too. Uh, this is different. Okay. So this one I must cut like this. moment I cannot uh, do any cycling because of the, the operation I have uh, at the moment I am just doing some uh, gym okay uh, try not to get too much weight okay I already have 10 uh, kilos so it's not so good You can see there I put here on my studio that is a machine, okay, for lift, weight lifting, okay, uh, I got all that other stuff, so 
baby steps and then uh, we'll get and go again and cycle no I don't lose 10 kills I I have <laughs> more <laughs> I'm much fat now <laughs> it was good <laughs> oh my friends but I must lose that 10 kilos <laughs> Yes, walking it's good too. And normally on the weekend I make uh, with my wife uh, geocaching. Okay, uh, it's very good because sometimes when you see, I put on my phone, and I see sometimes I walk about uh, 10 to 15 kilometers. Okay, so it's enough. So geocaching it's nice for losing some weight too. I don't know why they put this like this, okay. Let's get this right there. And okay, nice. So I get all the way off. Uh, some things are easy and some things are bad. Okay, uh, normally for geocaching, I advise you to buy a um, uh, GPS. Okay, uh, they have on the cattle nice ones for um, Garmin. Okay. I use on my phone, okay, I, I have a, a, an application on my phone uh, to make the geocaching. Uh, my phone is so dirty. Good. Let me see if it's... Okay. Well, it's... Uh, something like this and then it's open okay I got the problem because I don't have here this application and so let me turn the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi okay I just going to show you just a minute Yes, on smartphones, they are nice. So the only problem it's because of the, the GPS. Okay, so on the on the phones it's not so precise. Okay, and on the on the GPS it's more precise. Okay, you put the coordinate, coordinates there, and it's much easier. Okay, now I got. Okay, I'm just shrinking. As you can see here, 
Um, this marks there, it's uh, on the map, and we got here 10, 20, just here. Okay. And all these dots are geocaching, okay, so if you go here to um, <coughs> Sintra, they have a lot here. Okay, just these two. Okay. And if you are going for your side, let this turn, okay? Ah, okay, you are on mine. Just showing uh, on mine, it's just showing my area, okay. Because I put my area here, okay. So I got here around Sintra and Lisbon about 200, okay, to go there. Yes, just to uh, write on the um, on Google Star geocaching and you can make uh, the download for free okay so let's go again and now let's put this together so I'm going to, to use one wheel for this side and let me just send a little more these wheels are very bad guys they have okay no, my phone. Yes, they are um, uh, geocaching on cliffs and uh, even underwater. <laughs> so it's just for many tastes. And let me tell you, the side of the wheels are very bad. The other wheels are nice, but, but the, the tire, it's very bad. Yes, I know it's 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 typical. But I think it's easy. Um, the, the the plane you are you want to build or the vehicle or the tank or what you want, go and see on the AMO uh, page and you can see on the smart sets of the acrylics paints you can see there okay and that it's much easier if you have any a big question a uh, big doubt I can help you without any problem okay so let me just put down the wheels I'm going to need it's going to be the sprocket wheel for this and this for the front okay this is going to be here more we are going to need uh, these ones are three for each side okay same thing three and three so this is this makes the bolt and this is uh, this have a little I am doing um, a coverage chart okay but it's not finished yet when I have that finish I will publish for all okay Uh, 
and uh, this is four. Okay, now for this, uh, I'm going to grab the suspension and build the suspension right now. Very, very easy to break. Just like this. But I don't like that one. Want us to glue here? Okay. So let's glue this. Okay. Now the suspension. So just the line. And sincerely, I'm hoping this to be better. Okay, so. Okay, so let's start putting the wheels, okay, um, so I got this all prepared, and for that let me see. Wheel sprocket and the first pin of these it's the of the middle okay so first to put is this one
so this is not so loose like the Azagawa so the fit it's more nice and this one it's going to be yeah but now it's not so good okay if they put these pins more um, with more length it's much better okay so i'm going to put the wheels So it's going to be a work uh, to put wheels and let them to dry, okay? Okay. Now I can put the others, and uh, the others, it's this one. It is nice, so blue and blue. Normally the real a problem on this it's the, the wheels to, to stay nice so no oh. let's put these last ones and this last one it's more difficult. Okay, so I'm going to try So what we need, it's to glue the wheels and they are going to help each other to stay in place. Mm, nice, 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 nice. Okay, it's okay. Now I think it's better. So these ones, the middle ones, it's what we need to. Fine. With the outsides, okay. Okay, well, as you can see, it's good. So the sprockets. And I'm not going to put yet the this wheel, okay? So now I'm going to flip this and start working on the other wheels. Okay, now. Ones. 
and start putting here. Okay, okay. Okay, and the last one. Don't run anywhere. Just a little on the top, okay. We put the sprockets. Okay, Sergio, I see you later. Me too, I'm just going to put some more things and then I will lunch too. Okay, now let's go and Put the wheels. Okay, it's enter real good. These pads here on the side, it's good to grab the wheels, okay? I know it's a little shit, uh, uh, I'm shitting a little, but guys, because this is for war games, it's better to have a solid uh, wheels, okay? For that, now, let me try align the wheels okay this I need to hold a little okay and they are on the ground okay when I go and put the um, the tracks it's going to be better okay You see it? The wheels are touching down. So it would and you can see the on the wheels, these wheels they are they are very bad. Okay. The side wheels now that that it's good. Even the sprockets. These doors it's not so good you can see the gap okay uh, i think like they do this it's better than the the azagawa it's more real but uh the joints are not so good okay 
and it's not the problem to join this it's because they have some molds out okay of the doors and I must put on the on the hole here and it's not the alignment is not good so okay I will stay here okay the the other step um, guys I'm going to work on this uh, online uh, on the morning okay uh, because this is for a customer and I want to build three okay so the next I will build it's to put the fenders and this this iron box here and the tools okay this suspension for the machine machine gun the two machine guns it's going to be the last things okay so I got here uh, the two machine guns these ones I got the a submachine gun here okay just put on the bench or like that and I got the shovel the hammer pickaxe here and the towing towing hook and I think it's a, a kind of shovel too okay I got the lights here okay this is for the machine gun but this is going to be later so the tracks are vinyl and I think these ones are nice to glue okay with just the mirror if you're not we put super glue okay so my friends I will stay for here on this video and I will back I'll be back uh, more on the afternoon about uh, four and a half p.m. okay so guys I see you again later <laughs> bye guys And thank you very much for watching and make me company on my bench, okay? Bye.